Over the past 75 years, St. Paul has grown and changed in ways that our city's past leaders could never have imagined. Over the next 75 years, the city will change in ways that today's leaders can't truly predict. And that's a good thing. Our capital city will be shaped by citizens, not just city planners. Bringing many voices to the table is the goal of the Forever St. Paul Challenge. We want to hear great ideas for the future of St. Paul from all corners. We wanted to inspire people to dream big for the city they love, and they exceeded our expectations. We're honored to partner with the challenge winner to make that dream a reality. We want to make an impact, so the scale of this project is definitely unique. A $1 million grant for one great idea drawn from the public. A million dollar grant is huge. It's it's incredible, it's, 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 to me it's unheard of. It catches the attention of the people. And so when we get people to come together with their ideas and connect that to the resources of people in the back offices, we get to build something that can be way beyond what any of us imagine individually. The answers to community problems, the solutions really live in communities. And that's exactly what the Forever St. Paul Challenge is about, is looking to the community for ideas for improving the city. The outreach has also been really fun. To launch the challenge, Forever St. Paul built a gigantic light bright mural in the Union Depot that ended up breaking the Guinness World Record. People loved being a part of it and breaking a world record really showed everyone that we were trying to do something big in St. Paul. We want the widest possible diversity of ideas. We held open houses across the city to bring people together to brainstorm. We visited libraries, community organizations, churches, and schools. We wanted to hear from people who don't usually participate in the public process and whose voices often go unheard. The energy in this room is awesome. I, I love how um, we've created this space for idea generation. We've created this space for community conversation. People are interacting in a very personal way and not through their cell phone or iPad or iPhone. By having this challenge, it helps all of us think a little bit more about our city, to take and put some of your own self into it and not just let it happen. By being able to have their ideas heard and, um, and, and know that people will actually listen to them and, and possibly implement them, you know, they feel that they do have some control over what's happening in their city. We're really creating that civic engagement and if we can do that, then that just makes the city that much stronger. I am excited about being a part of this project and this opportunity because it makes me feel empowered. It makes um, me feel like I can make a difference and that it also um, gives me a chance to be an example for my students that if you want something done you just have to become a part of and you have to get involved. We have received 946 submissions, incredibly diverse from transportation to parks and recreation, but most importantly opportunities where communities can come together. No one committee, no one organization could have come up with the breadth and depth of ideas that we were getting from the community. So we're really excited to see this happen. The St. Paul Foundation won't decide who wins the challenge. This summer, Minnesotans can vote online or at events like the State Fair. So not only are the ideas from the community, but the community decides which idea gets funded and brought to life. One thing that's made me really happy and proud to live in St. Paul, that people do have these huge ideas and, and have that affinity for St. Paul. We know that people who love their city are more likely to invest their time, talent, and energy in their communities. Research also tells us that the people of St. Paul have some of the strongest ties to their city in the nation. Through this challenge, we hope to build on and even increase that sense of pride and connection to St. Paul.